Welcome to War Mode. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. Yeah, I don't think it's people are dating at all. I think people are just hooking up. That's what they're doing. I don't like cuck holding. I don't want to share something that belongs to somebody else. She's not mine. They are um, beginning a, excuse me, a slight increase in the number of doses that you're beginning to state. The great, why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating site? You should be dead. That's okay. And the Eagles are so much better than Eagles. No, no. Stay off social media, people. Trust your local officials. Trust us here. Trust a news source that you know and trust to be honest about this. They're doing their job. They're doing it right. In Colorado, yes, there's about four underground uh, bases, one being at Denver International Air Base. Um, you think I'm making that shit up? I live eight minutes away from here. And when I leave tonight, I got three miles away. Dr. Oz in his mansion in New Jersey. And uh, I think I'm going to rack the possession of my son down. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. It's a difficult time. To specify the business people that have raped my people, that just so happen to be Jewish. There is one brave young man in this room who wants to come and say what he thinks the importance of International Women's Day is. Not only should women clean up, women should clean up unprompted. Like 10 years ago. If I was dead, I'd probably be Jesus. I, I just do. I, I think that, it, that simply is also a, that's talk about the trillions in, in massive tax uh, tax uh, cuts to the corporate uh, tax structure is well true. You know, trillions of dollars that have added to the deficit, and, and now th they still want to support those as well true. That is fucking. Hey, here, come, 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 come get me. That's fucking retarded. I know I'm not supposed to say that, Biden, but that's fucking retarded. Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. They're called dumbs, like you can learn a lot from this dummy, but uh, D-U-M-B stands for Deep Underground Military Base. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies. One pair of fish. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies. One pair of fish, one pair of fish. Have a have a look, one pound fish. Have a have a look, one pound fish. Very very good, one pound fish. Very very cheap, one pound fish. Six four five pound, one pound each. Six four five pound, one pound each. Very very good and very. That was a good victory to start. Yeah. Nice word, old. Gives me a lot of positive vibe. Yeah, that was a. I got off it after a little while. It just wasn't my thing. I mean, I'm doing it with my mom, so. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying. Like, I, I mean, it's I fine. Did it yeah, first. you can find. But right. all right, yeah. uh, we were talking to the amazing Stephen Kelly, and. Yeah, you guys, you guys a did like nod. a whole. You guys did a head nod over the Denver airport, and I was like, "What are you guys talking about?" I had, I had zero clue you were. I'm in the dark here. In the dark about the Denver airport. So we start here. This is it. This is a. What fucking, am I looking at? That's the Denver airport. Why is it fucking tense? Shaped like teepees? Yeah. Uh, maybe a hat Oh, was tip. it built on an Indian burial ground? Might have been. <laughs> it was a hat tip to, um, I think, the Apaches that were out there or some shit. But they had a decent airport. And supposedly, like, get this off the bat, I believe in everything the conspiracies are saying. Because every podcast that I listen to about this is heman and Hall. And, like, obviously, this is fucking bullshit. This is bullshit. The main stuff that fucks me up about all this stuff is the amount of construction that goes into making these fucking things. Because I've we've I've done dumpsters at the Philadelphia airport. I've seen airport construction. Yes, it's mega. This makes no sense. This is one and a half times the size of Manhattan. It is? Holy shit. Nice fact. There's a lot of facts about it. And it is Denver. built on an Indian burial ground. Is it where really? this is kind of rubbing it in their face? It's kind of fucked up. Holy shit. I didn't know it was actually built on rubber <laughs> barrel. So <laughs> it was completed in 95. I think it started somewhere in the 80s yeah. with like a grant. I think it was like 160 million it started off with. And it went 16 months over, which that's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Technically speaking, not that not fucking that big, bad. Yeah, not that but big. But like deal. when they were doing this, there were so many fucking contractors on site 
that no one knew what the fuck was up. Right. So like everyone's on like different compartmentalized areas of this. And like, dude, there's trains to get you from point A to point B. So there's tunnels already. That's a fact. The camera crews went through the tunnels. So like all of that is fucking true. 11,000 dudes worked on this. That's a lot of dudes. That's a fuck ton of fucking yeah. dudes. 52.4 square miles. That's fucking massive. Yeah, it's one and a half Manhattans. Yeah, so, uh, I think it's like <laughs> 640 acres or some shit. So yeah, biggest in the U.S., the DIA, Denver International Airport, hilarious name. Colorado seems like they got a lot of good names for shit. They have a lot of like good juice for pretty much everything. So it also has the longest runways. And according to scientists, and I say that in quotation marks, it's because of the altitude. It all It's also closer to Aurora than it is to Denver. And, you know, whatever you want to think about that, it's just closer to Aurora. You're just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. I think it's like the sixth busiest, but it's fucking monstrous, but it's the sixth busiest airport in North America. So it's not even the busiest one, but it's this big. It's very fucking massive. Pretty crazy. So, yeah, a, a, to start, it said a government put uh, some money up. Maybe, yeah, the government put some money up, and then the rest was all private bonds. So it's got some government money into it, and it makes almost little to no sense. And start off here. The first thing people get fucking biased about. And mind you, this whole thing was built by fucking Freemasons. So we can get on this. So <laughs> let me show you that. This is a runway. What's it look like? This is the swastika you're talking about. It's a runway. What's it look like? I mean, you told me it's a swastika. What do you think? I does can draw look- a better swastika. I've, I was drawing better swastikas in third grade. But, but does it whatever. look like kind of a All little right, bit? I'll give it to you. They have a little bit of a- It's a, a stretch. I'll give it to you. Sw- All right. That, that's what I'm saying. The people are freaked out about that a little bit. And you have, this is the cornerstone there. All right. right. I mean, Mason's build stuff. The weird thing about the cornerstone, it says it's done by the New World Airport Commission. That isn't a fucking thing. What do you mean? The New World Airport Commission is the people who claim to have built this. It's just a fake thing. Not, nothing real. <laughs> so it's. They just call themselves it's that. Just a, yeah, it's just a complete fucking lie, bro. So we, we continue on to probably your favorite thing in this whole entire thing. You've been calling everything this. It's Blucifer. Yeah, Blucifer. <laughs> My BL, Blucifer. Dude. <laughs> BLs are Blucifers. <laughs> the thing that, like, I, I can give you facts about this. The weirdest thing about this fucking horse is the fact that it has a detailed anus and ball sack. Yeah? Detailed. <laughs> like it's bizarre. I don't know why the fucking why this dude did this dude did it. How much do you think that weighs? Ah, oh, dude, I'm not gonna. You're you're better at that than me. Nine, what is it made of? Nine fiberglass. Fiberglass. Oh, yeah. Nine thousand fucking pounds. And some dude named Luis Jimenez was the dude who made it. And the reason he said that he gave it glowing red eyes was not because it's a hat tip to the pale horse that. People talk about riding Revelations. in the apocalypse. Yeah. yeah, he said it was because his dad owned a neon shop. So oh, okay, yeah, he wanted to get his dad some work. No, he just wanted to give his dad a hat tip. Okay, his dad didn't do this. So this was also it was commissioned in ninety three, and how much do you think it cost to make something like that? You're an dude. Artist. I don't know, man. I, I've never six hundred fifty G's. That's a fuck ton of money. <laughs> That's a fuck ton of money, <laughs> and it was thirteen years late. How tall is it? I have no idea. But it's very fucking big. And the dude who was doing who was making Blucifer, he was killed by the Blucifer. What? While dude. while the bro was making Blucifer, he <laughs> got killed. Something fell off of it and fucking smashed one of his arteries and it fucking so He's cut already open. got one body. Blucifer has one body and yeah. Let me yeah, that's about it. And then pretty much it's just a bit of a hat tip to the pale horse. So that's like when you're coming in. That is the main thing you see. Coming yeah, in how are you going to avoid that? So you get a little fucking weirded out. Now, <clears throat> here's where we can get into our art critique. So the first fucking, and mind you, these murals are now gone because of complaints. So the dude who made this was like Leo Taguama or something like that. He's a bit of a fucking weirdo. And he was, like, this is him saying, like, the world is like getting taken over by people and you know, it's going to, this is the first step in the apocalypse almost. 
So what you see here is a fucking dude in a Nazi uniform with a gas mask. He's holding a fucking rifle, and he has a sword. I forget what these things are called. I sent it to you last. Scimitar. Scimitar. Scimitar is a Masonic sword. It's on those little fucking Fez hats that those dudes wear. Oh, you said the Shriners. The Shriners. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay. They're high level Masons. You've- I've heard of I've heard of a lot of this stuff, but I don't know. Like I don't know anything about it. Yeah. You know so I mean? this is like one of the first things you fucking see. And let me see here. Yeah. So you got the Nazi general who's shoving the sword up the dove's ass. What it looks like. And now this dude said that. These ladies right here that are crying next to it. Crying mothers. What do these kids they're holding look like? Dead babies. He said they're just babies dreaming of a better future. Yeah, they look like they're dead. They look like they're dead children, and it looks like there's dead people underneath there. And some people go as far as to say that the rainbow going across would be a chemtrail. And this is in 95 they made this. So I mean, Chemtrails were big back then. And these two towers right here. Awfully reminiscent of 9-11, things to come. So this is this is the first step into like why this might be a little bit fucking weird. And then we go down to the fucking second painting. Second painting, weird as fucking shit. It look it looks like absolute nuclear fallout. And there's all these people crying about like the extinction of animals, fucking the penguins done. There's like they keep showing like pure death and destruction, all this stuff. Dudes are just trying to get their fucking bags and go to their next spot. And mind you, $130 million were put aside for this art. What? $130 million for the art installations of the Denver airport when it was built. $130 million. <clears throat> so we continue on. that. So this picture, not a lot of shit in it. There's some Mayan stuff going on. I think the dude was Mayan. They're all like crying about like the pollution ruining the world. We go to the next one which I have to blow up, and I can't because I'm a fucking mental retard. Right there. See the plus? Where at? Top. Okay. Middle. This one? No, other one. This one. All right. So here's where shit gets a little fucking weird. The next one is all the children of the world. Mind you, there's no adults in any of these fucking pictures. All the children of the world coming together. <clears throat> the weird part is the hero in the middle, do you notice anything about the little boy in the middle? I was going to say something <clears throat> about it, but... What do you see? It's a fuzzy picture. It kind of looks like a young Trump. I don't know. It's not Trump, <laughs> but he's wearing a German boy's outfit. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. It's a real fuzzy picture, yeah. so I can't tell. Holding an iron, holding a hammer and an iron fist. Okay. What do you think that symbolizes? I think it's hey, a little man. bit of fucking... I'm too, I'm too dumb for this. <clears throat> from the looks of it and from what people say, it's communism coming to save the day and then there's all the world flags of everyone who's having a problem okay come along and hand in their fucking swords israel and palestine iran and pakistan all that fucking shit the 130 <clears throat> million dollars is a 130 lot. million dollars of shit yeah the next one's real fucking weird <clears throat> because it's all the children coming together after they win whatever fucking war this is and they're sitting there and worshiping a lotus flower, which is awfully reminiscent of the Morning Star or Lucifer. So all these fucking freak shows are now worshiping this Morning Star. And up top, you got the feathered serpent Quetzalcoatl. So, all right. That's a pretty good rundown of $130 million. I'm wondering where the rest of the paintings are. I, same here. <laughs> 130 mil is a lot to give one. Then they have the painting, retarded so. shit like gargoyles. Yeah, yeah. I saw that video. This was a. This is an OG gargoyle. What the video you saw? They added a dude, and they started fucking making fun of the fact that they're a little quirky. What's up with that? What the construction site assigns? Say like they have like the hard hats for the guys that are working yeah. there. Have like the pyramid with the eye in the middle. Yeah, and. I mean, you're just saying, yeah, like that's normal. I'm saying that's it, what they're doing. They're, they're doing fun at people yeah. like me and you. Oh, okay. So it's it, I, so they're roasting us. I think they're roasting us, but like it doesn't make sense because like this. Sh- the, I mean, the, I'm trying to fly <laughs> places, dude. I'm, I want to go to this. I'll go to this airport. Yeah, the art trips me up because like once art gets involved in stuff, it's very fucking weird. And like the government giving away 130 million dollars for, I mean. You've painted like those. Those paintings are nothing special. It's a muralist. Yeah, that's what. There's way too much money. We're talking about dudes on like 11s, 15s. Yeah, it's way too much money to be for that quality. 
And it's very weird for them to do like gargoyles and shit in there. It's fucking Denver. Like none of this shit. Yeah, gargoyles anything. is not, you know, historic for to the area of Denver. Right. Yeah. So like these people like I swear to God, I don't know, like after talking to Stephen Kelly, he's dropped a lot of facts I, on us. I'm still soaking it up. These people obviously use symbolism. Like you can't say they don't. They put it in the money, they put it in architecture, all this stuff. And this feels like a little fucking playground when you're coming in here and you see these kind of fucking paintings because they're bizarre paintings for an airport. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. It's like if you rolled in somewhere and all this shit is like you're cozy, like, damn, and we're getting away with this? Yeah. <laughs> it's like fucking fist. Like, I feel what like. What the shit is this? So <clears throat> there was a. God Egypt. of the dead? This is Anubis. They just have an Anubis statue in the middle of the fucking field for the airport for no reason. Supposedly, it was, where is that? I don't know. I think it's like outside somewhere. It's like a parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly, like I, I didn't know that. I didn't know Denver was like an art hub for this shit. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't know anything about Denver. Yeah. So like, I'm like real fucking confused as to why all this shit's going on. Obviously, we talked earlier. I think they just let everyone smoke fucking weed. No one cares about what's. Yeah. Going everybody's on. just probably too stoned. Yeah. And then the 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 stuff that kind of loses me. So like, I'm more like <sighs> alchemical. Very gold, much gold, so. silver, gold and silver, gold good silver. eye, good wow, eye. You dude. know your periodic tables. So the other weird thing about this is, before this, the dude who donated this piece or whatever, he a few years later found the Australian antigen for hepatitis C, which was a bi later a biological weapon or could be a biological weapon. So that also stands for Australian antigen. So people freak out about that. I just think they're, they put like weird shit all over the floors, like going all over the place, like Apache shit, like words that make no fucking sense. So this, this, I would say this seems harmless, but the thing, the whole thing, like all the art, weird as shit. The stuff I don't fucking like is the amount of construction that went on here. What we talked about earlier, 110 cubic yards. It was 110 100, million cubic yards of dirt. It was 104 it was 154 million tons. Yes. That's a lot of, of fucking of dirt, dirt to be removed for the concrete pour. Yeah, and like dude, I understand like you kind of have to But it goes down eight levels. Yes. Confirmed. Literally confirmed they they show you like this is underground at the that's a train station to get from like place to place. So like, that's a lot of fucking work just for a week. Like you, you couldn't make that above ground. Like why, why would that have to be underground is my question. The amount Very of Very good point. The amount of effort. This couldn't, it's flat. Have, this couldn't have been a monorail. Literally this it's flat yeah. over there. There's like, it's near the mountains, but this is on flat fucking land. And you're going to tell me. That's a very good idea. You have because... to put these underground for what? For what? I mean, where are they going? That's so much fucking work. Imagine if you came to me and you were like, dude, I want to build wow. a house. And I said, dude, no problem. And he said, no, it's going to be underground. I was like, we can build up. Like, no, I need it underground. I was like, that's insanely expensive. Not a problem. Because monetarily speaking, for this. They just thing, needed an excuse to get down there, is what you're saying. I think so. So in the construction, it costs $4.8 billion which was $2 billion over their budget. It's a, it's a, I can't understand that kind of money. That's It's a thousand millions, right? It's a billion? Yes. So it's 4,000 millions. I guess so, dude. You're asking yeah. the worst 5,000 million. It's like almost 5,000 million. Yeah, so they got... And, like, dude, they joke around down there. Like, they wear masks and shit like that and spook people, like, for jokes. Yeah, you can miss me with this, dude. So here's some more pictures, and a allegedly there's a submarine base underneath of there this is a picture water for what i don't fucking know what you're seeing over here there's nuclear blast doors so the same shit stephen kelly was talking about is there's nuclear blast doors in these underground things for what i don't know may like i guess a terrorist well, this attack. is a this is a military base this is for a stay away government this is for a stay over government for if we get attacked it very much is okay from what I see, because this is like Stephen Kelly was saying, like this is a straight so shot out of California. If you're, if you are the president, vice president, you're in the chain of command. They're flying you to NORAD. You're going to wherever. Yeah, they're gonna take care of you. But for the other elites of the world, they're trying to get to the Denver airport. 
the rest of the Illuminati is trying to get to the Denver airport, like the civilian class of the Illuminati. Yeah, so I'm so fucking done with this shit, and I didn't know what the fuck the Cheyenne Mountain Complex was, seeing the meme a million times of the opening. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. The Cheyenne Ma- Mountain Complex is 100 miles away from this. Now, if you're telling me you have, like, and, like, dude, I sh- I'm showing you this picture of the underground water, like, and this stuff. In the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, they have a fucking reservoir. So that shit's two miles into a fucking mountain, and they have a reservoir. Well, Phil Schneider says that the the actual underground military bases go down two miles, and there's a, a, a I believe that there's a train that runs on like a small barrier of air, like it just floats on the air and can go Mach two, and they can go from coast to coast in like an hour and a half. Dude, now, dude, that sounds far fetched, and you're like, how do they cut these things? He says, lasers and masers. Lasers and masers? Don't know what a maser is, bro. Well, dude, <laughs> honest to God, they're way far ahead of us. He says wise. that for every year that we live, they get ahead 45 years. He claims that they're about 1,000 years ahead of us. Was it Graham This Hank? is Phil Snyder. Dude. Yeah. I don't know. He's dead. Yeah, I know. I he, know. Got, he got killed for these beliefs. I don't feel too good when, like, if you show me all the weird art, it's just Pizzagate stuff. Like... You can kind of write it off and just say these these are weird fucking artists. Yeah. Even though, like at this point, like, no offense, I see if I see someone who's an artist full time, I look at you like a male teacher in a grade school. Something's up. So, How do they get the water here, dude? I have, and this is what fucking pisses me this off. This is at like, the airport. This is underground at the airport. But so, what is this for? This is not for. This is for like submarine. Bill, it's in Denver. What are you talking about? I don't know. All right, I'm just, sorry. I'm derailing this. <laughs> no, no, you're not, this is just what I'm hearing. All right. So like, I just want to show you some of the infrastructure. This is for the workers. I fucking guess. This down here, yeah. This is for the workers. These are air vents. And then the, this is like a ventilation system that's yeah. down there too. Where, dude, it, you can't see where these things vent out. Like, There's no obvious fucking spot. Now, I was reading, could be false, <laughs> real quick. A dude who claimed that he was on the in the roofing union and waterproofing union during this project. And they were going to shit that they were just calling like school buildings. So there's a bunch of random fucking buildings on this thing that are like way out there that got fully waterproofed, way like they said three stories into the fucking ground. And then they, so they dropped their tools and they're out of there. And like that dude got shipped across the country. So they're waterproofing this like these crazy deep bunkers. And he was talking about the thickness and the amount of rebar that was in these buildings they were making. And by spec, and he did a lot of government jobs, by spec, like the specs that they built, they were nuke-proof. So this whole airport is just building yeah, nuke-proof okay. shit. I'm, all right, I'm starting to understand what this is all about. So I, I just get real weirded out. Because, I always wondered what would happen. <laughs> what? Because it's like if if we are getting, if the if the... War games computer goes off and thermonuclear war is happening. They get the top government yeah. to safety, but like, where does Bill Gates go? They have they all have you underground know? bunkers. They might have their own personal one, but I mean, if they are not, if they're traveling in motion in the world, yeah, this is a spot. This is where they'll go. All right, like so- if you're in your private jet or whatever, yeah, this is probably where they're going to try to head to. The only way I can think about it. This is like an emergency it, bunker. This is the only way I can think about it. Like, you know, if like, say you're a goat and like, you're like, dude, I'm going to get this land out here and I'm going to build my fucking house on it. And someone's like, dude, you can. You need a lot of money though because you need to build a driveway. You need to get utilities to it and all this shit. And if you got paper, it is what it is, dude. I'll fucking get it. Now, if you're telling me there's deep underground military bases, I think there's land underneath of us. And if you have that land underneath of us, good on you. But you got to talk to the guys and co- hook up to everything. So these people might, like, because there's crazy tunnels in every fucking city. And then once you, like. There's, there's also cave systems. Yes, natural where people, cave systems. Where people go missing all the time. And then, like, there's the, I was doing a job in Lower Marion. And the people the ha- who owned the house, they just had tunnels. What? To get from like the normal, remember, remember the house? I was oh, they had like them. Dracula. Yeah, do you remember when I was telling you that I heard, overheard them talking about that at Longwood? No. Yeah, me and Fed were standing there, and the girl said that they they had tunnels in between all the houses at Longwood Gardens. Oh, you you probably weren't there. I was not there. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, dude, like this is my main fucking thing. It's for the winter, allegedly. Bro, no. I'm just saying that's the, the like that. That's what they everything said. I hear about this stuff, it's like. 
the same thing with the train. Yeah. Instead of walking 50 feet, you're going to dig a fucking hole underground and tell me that makes more fucking sense. Like these people are where they are in Lower Marion and they have these lavish homes because they make the right moves. Now, if you're going to tell me I want to get from there to there. I wonder if I've ever painted somewhere with tunnels and not known it. 100%. Yeah, I wonder. Like my whole neighborhood, like where I live, that whole park, it's all connected underground. Fuck off, man. I swear to God. <laughs> there's a fucking church. I mean, dude. You're trying to spook me, dude. Halloween already happened. I'm, see, I'm not trying to spook you. I, I don't get afraid of stuff anymore since I turned 30. But like th- this shit is like whatever's going on here is real. And it is very close to the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, yeah. which used to be NORAD. NORAD was the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. NORAD moves to some base near there, and they don't they, they chill there. Like, they just hang out there, but they're not technically there anymore. But if you're telling me you have, like, water in a mountain, I'm going to believe that you can pull a sub up to fucking Denver. This <laughs> sub shit is killing me. It's crazy. <laughs> but, like, dude, they, they said the same shit about some of the Great Lakes. Like, supposedly, if you get fucking deep into a hunter by and fucking rabbit hole, like, guilty as charged. I've done it before. You go in. I know, I know. You go into those lakes, and supposedly they're deep enough to have submarine bases. This is just what I fucking hear. Please don't shoot the fucking messenger. But, I mean, if there was just a normal big-ass airport, I'd be like, all right, cool. Even if they had the trains, I would fucking write it off and just be like, Fucking place has trains. That's mega. Congratulations, Denver. You hit me with the art. So the main reason I think personally I fucking trip out about this is because they have this crazy infrastructure and then they also have the fucking art to accompany it. And then they ridicule you when you sit there and ask questions like, why the fuck do you have a Mustang out front of the Yeah, the hand goes up. Anubis. Yes. I have questions. That's what like... (laughs) Why put a huge blue Mustang with Denver Broncos? Shout out John Elway. Why put a huge blue Mustang and not a fucking Bronco? Right. None of the shit really fucking makes sense. So like it, it just gets dudes like me and you, it gets our fucking brain spinning. And that's why a guy like Stephen D. Kelly, an alpha male, wears all fucking black, pure high testosterone. Me and him here at Denver Airport, we go, oh, yeah. I just didn't know about it. So, yeah, this, yeah. this in shorthand is what it's all about pretty much, but it goes very deep. Once you get like, you sent me the, the stuff I, I couldn't look into the dreamland. I had no idea. Allegedly it's 4 million uh, square miles of like territory around Utah, Nevada and Colorado. That's all military bases. They do like, they practice stuff. They practice bombings. Yeah, you know, they, love, they do all this weird shit. Area 51's there. I mean, this is like this Dreamland is where, is where Area 51 is. This is where all this shit is. And they call it, and allegedly the deep underground military bases connects all this stuff within like 20 minute train rides. So like, you know, a general can just bounce and bounce yeah. and you know. The thing and that, then there's like Dolce. What's Dolce? Dolce. There's another oh, one. Oh, New Mexico? Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. This whole area is very shady for the military and their secret black budget. Yeah. This is the black budget that's building this. Definitely. And then the, and they get this money from the cartels. Really? Yeah. They, yeah. The, this is beyond our tax base. The thing that freaks me out is like you have the Cheyenne Mountain Complex and they're, they're just like, that's our only one. Like, oh, you don't no. have any other mountain Yeah, they bases. have many of them, yeah. So like if they're drilling into a granite mountain, dude, that's fucking insane. At the time of Phil Snyder's last speech, there was 39. Like known? Known. D-U-M-B's. Yeah, I mean... It's almost on. one for every state. That makes... And then, dude, the thing that really... You sent me in like a fucking tailspin when I was driving in the rain. You're sitting there telling me that they make... And, and dude, we're just having fun with this thought. Thought experiment, just having fun. Maybe I believe it, maybe I don't. You're telling me they fucking cut through this shit with lasers and it turns into agates. Yeah, you said they can cut seven miles a day with a 28-foot la- foot wide laser like... Stephen Kelly was talking about. Makes sense, but like when you're you, always wondering where the dirt goes. Not only that, I'm just saying, like you're telling me you're going through tunnels of agate. They're making the tunnels with a 28 foot wide laser beam, right? That sh- does seven miles a day. Now, dude, 
when someone hands you DMT and says, smoke it, <laughs> are you just remote viewing these things because you're just going through tunnels of shapes? Hey, man, I don't know anything about this stuff. All I'm, going, all I'm running off of is a Phil Schneider speech. Yeah, this, like, it is weird how fucking... That guy could spit, though. He had answers for everybody's questions. R.I.P. gone he, too yeah, soon, obviously. He knew, he, he had his facts well rehearsed. Yeah, the, the DUMV stuff is just very, it's very weird, and it's a lot of fucking money. Yeah, and there's like, all, there's a lot of overground military bases that you can look at that are f- fucking scary. Like what? Like Harp. And yeah. And there's one in Australia that's very spooky looking. Yeah, they were they were coming out about something like they're saying something about how the hurricane that just happened to Fort Myers was actually a man-made hurricane. Phil Snyder says if they felt like stopping a hurricane, they could stop it like this by flying a plane into it. If they want to create one, they'll create one. They can do whatever they want. H A A R P. It's up in Alaska. It's shared by the Russians. The Russians and the Americans have been controlling weather since 1972. <laughs> I'm just repeating what Phil Snyder's telling me. Yeah, I hear you. I, don't, don't come at me with the big eyes. Yeah. No, I'm, I, <laughs> after this week, dude, I don't know what's left or what's right. Time right. isn't real, so we're fucked either way. The one thing that is tripping me out is you told me about what they did on NPR. I didn't like that. Yeah. Now I get fucked. Matt got really, act- Matt got very like, bummed out about that what was it it's audio of what of an abortion so, but like what's the audio i didn't hear it okay you can hear it you can do it right now if you felt like it give me a second dude it's not funny man what the fuck yeah that's a snuff film why the fuck would they play that I think they're trying to normalize it because they're really pushing for it to be like uh, bright. So they keep trying to say like they're gonna get it codified in the law that it can't be undone. Federal woman said he's gonna do it. And hell yeah, he's gonna do that, that and legalize weed. So a bunch of potheads are gonna. I think vote, this whole thing. A is, bunch of potheads are gonna vote for it because of him. You know, dude, they're like, gonna kill babies so they can get high once a week. That is fucked. That's the most fucked up recording I've ever heard. Like, that's very fucking bad. I'm not trying to debunk you, dude, but Anubis yeah. just goes everywhere that the King Tut e- exhibition is. Okay. Thank you. Well, he, dude. It just, just should make you feel better. Nothing. Right now, I just listen I don't, to I don't like, up an abortion. So, like, I don't, damn, I'm I don't trying feel to, good. I'm right trying now. to cheer you up, dude. That's bad pee the, the God of Death at the airport is just there. It was there. for a Tutankhamen exhibition. Yeah. And it just travels around, like wherever at every airport, wherever King Tut is, they'll do this as an advertisement. Yeah, but so, like, dude, just saying, they're not bringing any. But why of that. the airport? No Kemet alchemy, no ancient Egypt. This I want to know just for a museum, dude. I want to know where they put the other ones, because like, why are you putting it at the airport? Because you're flying into the like, if you're flying into a city and you see the did Anubis, they do it at every other. Did they do it at the Philly airport? They did it at Seattle. Seattle's a fucking place of demons. I'm just saying. I'm trying to. I'm, I know. It, it's, yeah, you're you're fighting me, dude, for no reason. I'm not. I'm not fighting I'm you. I'm trying but like, to tell you. It's like you're flying in. You're like, oh, that, wow, cool. That there's, there's the god of death. The King Tut music exhibitions here. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, trying to get your mind off the fucking snuff film you just listened to. NPR. Like, what's NPR's damage to do some shit like that? Like, all you have to do is. Like to calmly talk over a woman getting a baby sucked out of her pussy is the most sociopathic thing it's, it's in the world. It's fucked up. Back, Matt didn't even want to listen to it. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't. You're either a sicko. If I, if I was a father, I just wanted you're like I couldn't believe they did that, especially when you have the lunar eclipse with the blood moon and all the weird shits going on. Dude, I'm getting into this uh, cult book and like he's talking about how there's like a solar mind and a lunar mind and like there's people that follow like the old white goddess, the lunar goddesses, like. There's a whole, like, if you're part of the 5% of the world that has psychic ability yeah. and you might be protected by the Templars because yes. you do astral travel, I'm just saying, man, you might want to team up with the white goddess and check out some of this lunar stuff. That's where your power comes from. Is lunar- It's your subconscious. Then our conscious mind's like the sol- the solar energy. I, I can fucking feel that. It's just a cool thing to read. I'm not yeah. saying it's, like, fucking true. But, dude, like, you know how, like, I f- we finished up with the fucking Denver airport shit, and you're like, that's it? That's it, yeah. Dude. Uh, you told me you had, like, a like a whole thing, so I thought there'd be, like, a ton of shit on it. I can't chill on anything. I go way too fast through things. But the other thing is there was a bunch of, like, extended. The most you can get is a 25-minute long video explaining all these fucking pictures. Everything else, because I was on forums and stuff, like, trying to find the old videos. 
Every single one's on private fucking YouTubes. Lucifer's 32 feet tall. That's huge. 32nd degree Masons, bro. Think about it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the the other weird thing is like there is a uh, in the cornerstone there's a um time capsule that's not to be opened until 2094. What's in it? I they, have, they don't tell you. They don't, it's a time capsule. The people who made it can't tell you what's in the time capsule. Okay. I would be such a little pest trying to keep that a secret. I would tell at least one person. We made one when we were kids. I don't know what year it's supposed to be open. Where? We made one in the 90s at St. Thomas. And you had a time capsule? There, It's there, dude. Damn. I, f- I made one in preschool, and I put it in my mom's room. We weren't supposed to open it until, like, second grade. And I fucking freaked the fuck out because I had a holographic Pokemon card in there. I think it was a dig, uh, did you digger. Oh, the, uh, there was like a, it was some digging one that was a holographic one. There's like a dig it or some shit like that. But I have no idea. I used to be like losing my, I got, I was at a 7 Eleven with Fed in Wilmington, Delaware. I still remember what 7 Eleven it was because they used to just sling those things at the 7 Eleven, the Pokemon packs. I got a fucking holographic Charizard, bro. If I still had that, we wouldn't be doing this podcast. Really? We'd they're, be in Aruba. They're that nice? Supposedly, there's like certain ones that get like rated, but I got a holographic Charizard in 7 Eleven. And I used to like, I don't even know. Like, I wish my parents would have just black pilled me on this shit when I was little because it was such a waste. I had no idea what to do with them and I just collected them. So like, I just had a bunch of Pokemon cards. They let me get the book with the, um, the plastic where you could put each individual one, you know, it, did you have that? I didn't have any. I, I was way too old for all this stuff. Well, I'm saying like card collecting. No. You weren't a baseball card guy? Or? I had a Trapper Keeper with a couple of things, but I never had any, uh, I never got any good cards. I thought I had like a pretty boss ass collection, what but I just get? gave it away eventually because it wasn't worth anything. Yeah. They won't be worth anything. Like all, all collector's items are going to go by the wayside because no one's going to have money. So? No one's gonna have money or an interest in actual animated, like animate things. Like everything's gonna be, all the kids today are growing up on the internet. Yeah, good point. Like, they don't have like a tactile thing of like you know tops and Fleer baseball cards. I think I think they got it out on like the end of millennials with like trinkets and shit like that. Like when we used to go to school, there used to, like there was a thing where you slap on your yeah, wristband. I remember those. We I flipped out about those. Flipped out about the things you flip upside down. They pop up. And I think all that shit's going away, and it's only going to be. There's, they'll still have that stuff, but the whole collectors, the convention centers, like I don't even know if you remember that stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, like going to the mall. They and used the, to have them at the, the mall. The tables, all that stuff. That's gonna, you know, that's not gonna exist anymore. For some reason, it got expensive as shit, though. Yeah, it's gonna keep going up because of the people that are like supply and demand says so like less shit. Yeah. And the last dudes that are collecting shit are boomers. Gary Vaynerchuk will own them all in the Cheyenne Mountain complex. <laughs> You know, uh, Colorado Springs is attached to that shit, and that's where Tesla's lab was. So think about that. Nikola Tesla. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting area over there, dude. It's I don't fuck with the West Coast at all. I've always been an East Coast boy myself, but there. Once you start, like, once you tell me like there's one mountain base, mountains are suspect forever. <laughs> Like I will never. All look, mountains are suspect. I can't look at yeah. those things and be like, "Yeah, there's nothing going on there." Because like, dude, that's the most bomb-proof thing in the fucking world. Yeah, and they're ready the, for nukes. In the Cheyenne Mountain complex, they have buildings that are on fucking huge springs. So if a nuke does hit, it doesn't fuck them up. They wouldn't even feel it. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Crazy fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that the the amount of dirt really fucked me up. A- anytime you hit me with the dirt fact, dude, and I start thinking about how 104, much. Fi- 154 million tons. Yeah. So how many truckloads is that? A lot. It's like 55 million or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Depending on, depending on how heavy you go. You so, know? And they're spending that money pretty much just to have a train underground. Supposedly. Yeah. And then, like, there was a lot of weird shit. Officially. Where, like, they would make them dig these fucking things, pour concrete, and then backfill them. So, like, there, there's just a lot of, like, nonsense construction that's going on. And, like, it get it gets past a point of, like, grease and all that shit. Once you're hitting me with, like, that much dirt and everything's fucking nuke spec. Like, there's some shit going on out there. I just don't know what the fuck it is. I've flown over there one time in my life. And I flew over the Rocky Mountains, and Joe Walsh, Rocky Mountain Way, came on my fucking phone. Wow, dude, that's pretty cool. I mean, just <laughs> not, not bragging. It actually fucking happened on my way to Vegas. I wouldn't lie about shit like that. Sick. Yeah, but, you know. 
Here, hit pause real quick. Yeah. Sorry, I just I just wanted to get a beer real quick. You're good. I just wanted to get a Blucifer real quick. <laughs> so start calling Bud Lights Blucifer, dude, please. Too, that's very funny, but I'm not with the devil shit right now. You got that big uh, ass horse out there. You're gonna start calling Bud Lights Blucifers. <laughs> kind of fucking. You're gonna lens, lens flare, sip it, lens flare. You should next next Halloween you got a year to prepare, dude. Just go as Blucifer drinking Bud Lights with big red LED eyes. Yeah. Yeah. You just informed me that fucking DeSantis is backed by Ken Griffin. Yeah. Fuck Ken Griffin. Everyone knows that. The guy from Citadel. Something's up. Because <laughs> people are starting to dick ride DeSantis. Yeah. And not in a cool way. I'm What's an unaffiliated guy like you think unaffiliated, about Unaffiliated. I'm looking at Teflon Don coming in. He's going to run. Like, Your hand motions yeah. every morning. <laughs> he's, go he's going to run for president. That's yeah. a fact. But you're telling me that DeSa like DeSantis is too cool. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, dude's that, a bro. That that Maverick commercial is so cool, man. But I'm saying, like, as, like <laughs> he's he's just saying, like, it, when I watch Trump and those guys, like, go at it, I was like, dude, why doesn't Trump just chill the fuck out and just speak the facts? Like, I drove by... Just real quick, we can get right back into talking. But I drove by the fucking parklets that are overseas containers for when there was COVID and you had to eat outside. Dude, that's dumb as fuck. Yeah, no shit, dude. <laughs> they're, they're really what are you dumb. in a time capsule? I'm not in a time <laughs> capsule, but I drove by and I was just like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, man. They made you eat in a fucking C box. I think their I think their initial I hate wokeness, dude. I hate wokeness. I think their initial <laughs> thought was when this is over, they'll just take that away. Whereas, like, the other shit, they got to deconstruct it. Right, right. You know what I mean? But still, I mean, dude, that was just something I drove by, and I was like, that's really fucking stupid. But, like, I think it's, uh, it might be Don Lamont. Tre it was Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah was kind of just like, yeah, Trump's sitting there throwing a pity party because, what did he call him? He called him desanctimonious. He called him desanctimonious. Yeah, fuck, he's the best at that. On his truth, he re people are retruthing it. Yeah, so the way people are like taking him in, I think something's up with him. If you're telling me Ken Griffin's backing this fucking asshole, yeah, Trump was backed by a real like a real shadowy Robert Mercer. Okay, and the Mercer family, and they were like they were very quiet weirdos. And then, but yeah. Ken Griffin's got a high profile, and he fucked everyone over with Robin Hood. Did he not? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, personally, GameStop boys should not be a fan of DeSantimonious. DeSantimonious, I think he has to go. I don't fucking trust him at all. I I know whatever it is, it's going. You're never gonna make it through your life unaffiliated, dude. You, you got too much of your mom in you, dude. I do. You, you got too much, dude. But I know you're gonna hit an age where you're like, fuck it, it's go time. Fuck liberals. We need we need to even protect it, the government. <laughs> even if my vote, just if it gets some idiot's vote, fucking <laughs> yeah, knocked yeah, off. All that shit, dude. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're gonna hit that in like a decade. We're pretty much Venezuela <laughs> at this point. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're just going, we're getting farther and farther ahead, and we're like tip of the spear. No one's been us yet. We don't know where we're going. I'm just like, saying, you with watch voting. that, like, you watch the Chinatown movie. Yeah. Back before, like, 30 years before that, we were a third world country. True. So we've been progressing into this thing, and everyone was to always constantly say, like, oh, it's the end of America. It's like, dude, we, we're so far out ahead of everyone. Yeah. No one even knows where we are. I just I don't. We have deep underground military bases, dude. Right. I <laughs> I just don't feel fucking good when it's like you had all that shit that went on in the 2020 election with those voting machines that remain nameless. It's just a media psyop. They're the only ones that make money on this. But they're back. But none of it matters, dude. And they're shutting down. Bro, first of all, you're unaffiliated. I'm unaffiliated. I didn't all vote. this is is all this is is selling commercial time. I guess you're right. Yeah, this is just them hyping up another thing. Every couple of years, they get a big wave. Thank that's you, a, thank you for the clear pill, my friend. That's all it is, dude. I got spun out. I almost got brought back to the Republican Party. I won't do it. If there's no, if there was no election, what would the news be doing right now? Goose egg, bro. Not a true. They really do have. They nothing. depend on it. Yeah, it is. And then the like the the sad thing is that people like will sit there and keep it up with the tweets and all, like as yeah. if any of this matters. Yeah, as true. if the people that you chuck in there for a couple of years are doing anything but taking money from, you know, interest groups. Yeah, they they like you, you they win a popularity contest and then they get free money for a couple of years. 
Did you did you see Fed, did you watch Fetterman's flat as a mayor? No. Oh you didn't yeah. See his spread. Yeah, I saw the beginning of it when Holy he was a unit. Shit. I told you he lived in a factory. You didn't yeah. see inside of it? No, I I shut it off. Dude, I mean, no no sides. I I have I didn't vote for anyone, but Fetterman's crib is sick. <laughs> like I fucking saw that thing, and he has like a full out spread and wherever the fuck he's Pretty at. Pretty good dude. for a guy that never had a job. I mean, dude, if you look across the street, he's <laughs> living right across the street from a steel mill. Yeah, Carnegie. But dude, has a sick fucking spot. It is like it's it's a, at this point it's like you had Mamet and you had fucking Fetterman. It's fake. Like they, like all the good wrestlers are out getting paid some better money somewhere else and we have Mamet and Fetterman. Yeah, it's just a TV sh- it's just commercial stuff, man. Yeah. They probably lick their chops when it's Mamet Oz, bro. True. Like all this is is selling ad. Like think about how many ads that you hear on terrestrial radio. You see them on TV, daytime TV. Yeah, they're they're squeezing the boomer like it's a fucking lemon, like the very last little bit, point, dude. dude. Yeah, they're squeezing the very last bit of it. It's like trying to get some water out of beef jerky at this point. And then they're like making this big psyop of how important Twitter is. Oh, it's the public square, all this shit all the time. Yeah, and it's like, dude, they're just doing that because so to that, let the sink in, so that they'll have another generation of ad, and somehow that will work out for. Whatever the fuck media company manipulates shit, I'm not gonna say it. You're not gonna say it, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is very fucking weird because, like, dude, I was getting along fine before all this. Like, we have to like start policing the internet and shit. I was less radical then than I am now. Okay, and it's like the more they take from me. You get fired. I do get upset when I can't find stuff. Dude, it's fucking impossible. I had, I had to hit rumble to watch that Phil Snyder again. You threw a rumble out there? I had to, I had to let something rumble. Rumble's fucking hilarious because every video on rumble is like seven views. <laughs> it's like pot smoker 420 gun lover, 7,000 views. That's what I. That's my two cents, bro. Yeah, I, I mean. I'm about to throw that in the public square. If you threw that, <laughs> you would get censored immediately. Yeah, it, it really, like, it seems like a fucking charade the more I fucking watch it. And then, like, once you see Fetterman win, and then, like, the shit with Twitter is a legitimate joke. Yeah. It's fucking retarded. This is just, like... The dude walked in with a sink. This is just keeping you <laughs> busy, the man. sink in. This is just like, the distraction of life. It really, yeah, it really is. And it's like, oh, look at all this stuff going on. And meanwhile, it's like, Ken Griffin's doing a backdoor deal with fucking DeSantis and... Yeah, yeah Chinatown really does open up your eyes to, like, a, a very fucking good entry on how this shit works. And, like, you know, they made that movie right after the controversial Squaw Valley concession. So yeah. it was, like, that was kind of in the news in California at yes. the time. And then what were, you said you wanted to talk about the something about Disney in it? Oh, I forgot to tell you that, um, yeah, Disney, that was the first time that Disney did the Olympic Village. So, like, Walt Disney, like, funded the Olympics. Right. Kind of. He was, like, there doing... Because I remember that was the, the gear in the Disney. 90s, they had fucking, they always had Disney in the Olympics. But the first round of this was Squall. by Pat Brown and yeah, the Squall Olympics. But the other thing I wanted to say was all these people that glue in themselves are funded by Aileen Getty. That's fucking insane. So it's still Getty money. It's oil money paying for them to throw, the fuck out. To throw soup serious? on the oil paintings. Yeah. So the fucking neats that are going to put their hands. In I gotta look it back up again. It was it was some shit I forgot about because makes I was, complete sense. I was trying to spurg through all that. It's I was so try, hard. I was to trying not to do it. I had like five pages. It's shit so out, hard, yeah. dude. And I'm just trying to like chill and just hang out. You know? Right, right. You're trying to have a laid back. But chill yeah, out. um, John Paul Getty III gets his ear cut off when he gets stolen by the Calabrese mob. Yeah, they cut his ear off and mailed it back to his mom. That was cool. I f- I forgot to tell you that. We talked about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just hilarious. Like. The thing with the... Yeah, I got to look it up. I think it's Aileen Getty. The thing with that that I just don't understand is like wh- something's up with that because they're just doing it all the time now and people are filming it constantly. You know what I mean? Like they're just always out here fucking gluing themselves to shit, doing fuck all, and it's just like billionaires are funding this shit. Yeah, so the Just Stop Oil, it's funded by oil tycoon heiress Aileen Getty. What kind of sick joke is that? But it does after you if you get into the Gettys for a couple of days, just a couple of days. Yeah. Just peruse, check out stuff on the web. Put your nose into some holes. And see some of the other things that they've been involved with. This makes complete sense. Like the air the airs are very eccentric. They're very like go against the grain types. 
And they're all copying off of JP3, the one that got his ear cut off. He was like the original, doing like nude nude spreads. Actually? Yeah, like trying to be a sexy boy, trying to be like hip, like a libertarian. He was like a hip libertarian. Yeah, yeah. But now the youngest, the young Gettys that is Newsom's goddaughter, the they might be fo- they, they might be some kind of a double couple trying to become a psychic entity. True. Because that is something that we did not consider until we talked to Stephen D. Kelly. Obviously. So I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, it is. It's a fucking joke. The fact that like they're doing this stuff and it's like if that's if it's fueled by the Gettys, no pun intended. No, it is just just the one the one campaign. I don't know if there's random people, but activists funded. Yeah, they did. the one with the tomato soup was her. Yeah, this this makes no sense that these people like this is textbook West Philadelphia people with BLM signs all over their shit. It's like you don't care. The people who fucking fund it don't care either. Like this, this is the weirdest shit in the world to get into getting funded by a fucking oil tycoon's daughter to stop o- painting. Like the, the, the painting angle makes no sense to me. I'm no artist, but it's like, dude, what the fuck did Van Gogh have to do with this? Like, why are they doing that? Like the same thing well, with people um, with spray paint. The Gettys would have access to museums. The Gettys would get away with this. True. They have a better collection. They, like they would do this. They have a better collection than any of these other museums. Like they have a better, the Getty Museum is better than the Philadelphia Museum. So if a Getty calls up Philadelphia Museum, they're like, yo, we're going to have Just Stop Oil come in and glue on to whatever Matisse. They're going to be like, yeah, no problem. Can we get this next year? It's like, yeah, sure. Oh, bro. Yeah. That's next level thinking. Also, it kind of pumps up the numbers on the painting. Yeah, yeah, sure. We get some fucking terrorist attacks and shit like that. If these people are trying to fucking make money and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm, you know, I don't think that, I think they're beyond money. They're doing other shit for like manipulating cultures. Is that what you do? Yeah. They get into manipulation and. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. And Chinatown dude said, I do it for the future. Yeah. That's what they do. They do it to like create the world that they want. They're like the ultimate ideologues. Yeah. That that must be insane. Once you get enough money where you're just like, I have to figure out what's next. The Getty dude was a madman. He didn't trust any of his sons and taking over his empire. He wanted to be like. He wanted to be like known like the Kennedys. Like he wanted to be known like fucking like look at my kids. And his son was doing and the his naked son, shit. His well, that was his grandson, but his other sons were just kind of like regular ass dudes. They weren't bringing any fire and fury. Dude, that, like that's what I don't understand. Like, like with, JP JP original was a motherfucker. These dudes were fucking built different back then, dude. Oh yeah. You can't expect your it, like the thing I don't understand is like those dudes get weary about their grandkids and their fucking like you have money that's not going to go away if you tried like why are you like the the weird attachment these fuckers have the money well they say it's weird i gotta look it back up but they are not worth that much on paper anymore but they're married into the royal bloodlines and this is that that was the shit that freaked me out and i was like oh so this is the game the game is that. yeah and Ma- mahmoud fayet did this and this is how Dodi fayet ended up with princess die so he started out with fucking nothing and he worked his way up who, who was Mahmoud Fayette besides Dodi Fayette's dad? He was an Arab that got into like, he was like a chameleon. He was doing anything that made him fucking money and Cake. got him prestige. Yeah. All yeah. he wanted to do was get close to the British family. Yeah. And he was like the same thing. Like that was the deal. Like they get, all they want to do is get enough power to get into the royal families. And Dodi was there. Dodi, they claim that Di, Diana was pregnant with Dodi's kid. And that would have been it. Like that means Mamu. Mumu, he was born. He he was a fucking peasant. Yeah, and then he he made it all the way to his kid, knocking up, getting in the royal bloodline, and then you're in the club, and you might get an invite to the DIA when shit pops off. I don't right. fucking know. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I don't know what the game is here. This power game, I don't. I'm not for it. I don't have it in me. There's there's way too much. I mean, they did that. What was that? The fucking was it the Rothschilds where like they didn't like the one Rothschild's wife and they just axed her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these, these people are legitimate. They did that obsessed. to Princess Die. There has to be something with bloodlines if they care this much about it. Like, if you're telling me, like, that you have the Getty, you have the fucking old knowledge down there, like, there's something to be said about fucking bloodlines if these people are going this hard to fucking protect them. Because wasn't Diana, like, a little bit dirtied up already? What do you mean? Wasn't her dad kind of a fucking. Her dad was a, her dad was a noble, though. He was. He was a lord, Lord Spencer. 
But didn't he collect shit, or was that his grandfather? That was like his grandfather. Like that's how he ended up stool boy. That's what I'm saying. Like the stool boy tried to get close to the king. Yes. And tried to get close to the queen or whatever, and didn't quite make it into the royal bloodline. But was still this is some high tower Game of Thrones shit. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it is. That is exhausting, bro. I know, but some dudes win. The, you hear about the winners, and the Gettys were winners. They ended up in the Rospoli family. Yeah. And that's connected to the papal bloodlines. Like, could you find, like, when you were trying to look this shit up, like, how hard was it to find? I think there's a couple of books on it, and I had to go into some of, like, the weird, the shadier websites. Right. Except all cookies. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's legit. Not a huge, not hard. I'm retarded. I mean. Yeah. It, it is fucking very annoying now to try to find any of my old shit that I liked, like, to brush up on it. Like, everything is, like, 404 not found. And that's the main reason, like... After everything said and done with this Denver airport, the fact that they marked all the shit like 404 not found, all the YouTubes are fucking cut off. Yeah. So, there's a little bit of something up there. It's real. I mean, I was listening to that uh, Timothy Snyder um, Yale class, and he's talking about the Habsburgs, and then the last Habsburg, the last male ha- Habsburg. Now, if they ran by females, the Habster- Habsburgs are still kicking. Yes. Now, they ran Europe forever. They ran Europe for like 300 fucking years. And I'm just saying, if they're run by females, they're still around. The Medicis are still around. Yeah, like, I don't know who these people are. The Medicis would have been Sistine Chapel, paying for the Sistine Chapel, paying for the David. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. You know what I mean? Um, There's uh, the Sax Coburns are, the Sax Coburgs are the British. They're the Windsors. Okay. You know, so that, that Mamudu was trying to get to the, to the Windsors. Yeah, th- this shit is just, like, this is so fucking deep. That's what I'm stuff. saying, the party of Davos goes out, ba- out to Switzerland, to the Swiss Guard, the Templars. Like, all that shit is out there, dude. That's what I'm saying, if I start thinking about the papal bloodlines... I can see how anyone you're can gone. get lost in this shit. You're gone, because you're not coming back. Like, it's easy to stay in the weird American politics. It's easy to stay there. Yeah. And you can have fun there. But, like, and it's crazy, because, like, it gets, like, you know, not only our country, but, like, a lot of fucking... Air, like a lot of areas care a lot about American politics. Yeah, but if you get into like the Knights of Malta and the Jesuits, dude, like you're on another, you're on another level. Like you know, there's like conspiracy pyramids that yeah, they made, yeah, like the, the icebergs memes. and shit like that. Yeah, like you're going up to that other tier. That other tier, there's there are tiers where it's like it's tough. It's tough to come back, dude. True. It's tough to unskit yourself. It ruins all the other stuff. Yeah, it's it's tough to unskit yourself out. Yeah, I don't know where I would be in my life if I never fucking looked into anything. I don't know if it'd be better or worse. I'd probably be vaccinated, so probably bad, but... I wonder how many of you there are since the hook. I mean, that's... that's yeah, what hooked on conspiracies. Exactly. Right. And that's what happened to you. Well... And if you think about that, that's kind of weird. The funny thing <laughs> is, I was watching... The one thing I listened to about the Denver airport, I won't name the guys just because I don't want to get them... them Denver airport trouble. has a real pizza hook era vibe to it. It is. 2015 it's a fun is a when... fun one. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if... Pizza Gate's fun. You know what I mean? I mean, people were having fun with it. We were looking the at the memes stuff, were yeah. fun. Yeah, very good fucking yeah. memes. Hold on one sec. All right, got sidetracked there. I like you show right, me. So you want to check out aliens? You showed me walking with tall whites. The thing that fucking creeps me out is like when I just did a little tiny bit of mushrooms, I had three tall whites just working on me when I was chilling. So I was laying down, my whole body was vibrating, and I had three aliens working on me. Well, I don't know what to say about your psychedelic experiences, but that dude in real life was dealing with tall whites out in Nevada. That would fuck me up, dude. Yeah, nobody believed him, and it fucked him up. It fucks him up. It fucks you up when nobody believes you. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like they, they make it so like you're like from the news and shit like that. Make it so you're a fucking psycho, even if you do see it. So like it makes sense that it's like if they're here, like why wouldn't anyone say anything? It's like because you get put in a fucking psych ward. Yeah, man, you can get into Dreamland. There's a bunch of movies on Area 51 and stuff. There's yeah. a ton of shit there. Do you ever fuck around with the X Files, dude? No, I was too afraid of it when I was little. Well, you're a big boy now. You're Thirty. I'm Thirty. I'm not scared so. of anything anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is crazy, like, what the internet does to all this shit, because it also reminded me, they were supposed to storm Area 51 right before COVID. Yeah, I remember the Naruto run. The storm of Area 51. <laughs> so I'm saying, that was, that was good times, but they're taking away all the good times, dude. They're taking all the fun. You can't have shit. Like, I'm I'm sitting there trying to look up Randall Carlson's classes on sacred geometry, 
and the first thing that comes up on him is Randall Carlson quack. Yeah. Like that is a fucking disservice to a dude who is a pretty beast builder. He's a, an animal carpenter. Like to call that man a quack just because he thinks some shit happened with the earth, which kind of makes fucking sense. I mean, I, those guys, they, they live in the house of cards, dude. Scientists. But, yeah. I, I was, mean, if you got a whole industry that could be fake. With one thing. With one, like you kneecap them with one thing. And they, they have like the most obvious cope with all that shit when they're just like, I mean, I, I want to be fake. I hope I get proven wrong. I was like, no, you don't. Like Not Egyptologists exist. Yeah. Like when Graham Hancock was on that cast talking about Egyptologists, nothing gets me angrier than those fucking pussies. It's a hustle. They're not going to lose their hustle, dude. True. I mean, that's all science. Yeah. It's just that. Could you imagine? Like, Chop would have to be fucking apartment complexes if they didn't have childhood cancer. Well, they lose their funding. Who? Like, they lose their money. They get free money. True. I know that they think they probably work hard in the lab, and I get that. Yeah. But, like, at the end of the day... You're not doing your research. Fauci's NIH. Yeah, like when you're doing your research, like the money's not really coming there. It has to come from like a grant or something. Yeah. Like nobody's forking for it right off. Nobody's paying you at the end of the day. No, that, yeah. that, that's so a really weird like, world. They got to stay in their lane because their lane is like, dude, this is how you get paid. True. And you get a dude like Randall Carlson coming out here being like, yo, bro, you guys might have this wrong. All this stuff might have happened way faster than you think. They're all going to be like, shut up. Our entire careers, and are the, and for the this. fellow works with his hands. Yeah, you work with your paws, dude. People Just saying, you have a de- you. you have a more basic uh, understanding of the world. Like you're saying, why is that train not above ground? True. Like that's insane. To just in the armor. Be like, that. obviously, it has to be a subway. It's like, I mean, you know how like we I still have telephone poles out here. Yeah. But there's there's no wires in Center City. Yeah. Because at some point they're like, dude, we have to put these things underground. <laughs> yes. Like, that's what subways are for, like, the cities. Like, dude, we have to put the trains. We elevated them, but we, they have to go underground now. Yes. It's crazy. But just to start out underground is wild. That's, like, all, like. Especially for the sixth busiest airport. Yeah. And, like, it's weird. Oh, I fucking didn't even talk about that. Here's the my main beef with all this shit. Yeah, they had a, activated. They had a state-of-the-art baggage claim. Okay. That they fucking, they, it was like, it's next level. Nothing's ever going to touch this baggage claim. It was fucking huge, dude. It was like a city underneath the airport for, it was like automated baggage claim. Like you put shit here and it does it all there. There was wicked amount of maintenance, 24 seven crews. It cost way too much money to run. Done. Had it for a year. Done. So that whole entire underground baggage claim thing, completely abandoned. Like, yeah, this doesn't make sense. We're not using it anymore. It's weird that the place is under construction all the time. That's a, yeah. that's smoke and that's some smoke signals right yes. there to me, because the place isn't that old. Ninety five. So all these are either real like free money, government money, kickbacks, yeah, going on where it's like endless work. Yes, endless work on shit. But they have contract maintenance contracts at airports are fucking big time mega. Money. Big time money. I just don't understand how you go through all that. Tra- like, it was a big deal that they made this baggage claim thing, and then they just completely were like, yeah, never mind. We're not going to do this. Right. So there's a huge underground area of that that is a no longer working ex-baggage claim facility. That PUA it just, just exists. Just exists. I don't know what to tell you, man. It, it's, there's a lot, of, a lot of shit for nothing. Even, like, when you get into the Philadelphia subways, like, they have subway lines that they did, and then they were like, fuck that. Well, Kevin Bacon's dad was, like, a genius, and they, and he wanted, like, his design for the city would have changed the city completely. He had, like, a whole other trolley and subway yeah. system lined up that they never they never went with it. I think really? his name was Edmund Bacon. I can't remember. But Kevin he, Bacon, if you go into corner stores in Philly, like, he's in all the corner stores. Like, they have pictures of people with Kevin Bacon. Yeah, he's from here. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, he grew up right down the street. Really? Yeah. Nice brag. But his dad is like, um, his dad was like a civil engineer type dude. Yeah, but they have that one. Um, and I think they started some of his shit and then just dropped it. Like all it takes is like one ma- major recession where they're like, and a regime change, and they're like, pull that plug on that grease. Yeah, I guess it is just a grease hole. But like to make to make subway lines that just go nowhere. And like, dude, it, I've been underground in Philly. Like, there's under shit goes underground. All the skyscrapers you can get to underground in fucking trucks. Like, yep. it there's some fucked up shit going on, and you can imagine never see two it. miles of it. 
Imagine a four lane highway. And there's then, a four allegedly. There's a four lane highway. Allegedly, there's a high speed rail that goes from the Getty to Edmonds Air Force Base and to Catalina Island. Yeah, I mean, and there's there's weaponry. Prince Andrew flew. Yeah, this, visited Edmonds Airport Base, then went to the, straight to the Getty to go visit some stuff from his mother's collection. That's just fucking bizarre. It is weird though. Once you're telling me like they're probably doing all this stuff is like a, you let me do this here, and like they're always trading fucking art and shit. But when you do that, you also have unchecked fucking cargo. So like th- whatever the fuck's going on there, the to wrap it all up, whatever the fuck's going wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, whatever the fuck's going on there is weird there's way the construction is way too hardcore to just be a fucking airport or just like the edge lords in the 90s that saw lucifer and were like what's it really called first of all lucifer i don't know just uh, lucifer. it can't be really that it's i don't know some yeah. mustang or some shit but i mean just the edge lords in that meeting to be like yeah let's go for it you know artists are fucking gay i know but <laughs> like, i'm just saying like they try to be like real anti and badass and then they like they do shit and you're just like dude okay like, <laughs> you're kind of a pedophile bro <laughs> like yeah. why are you being this edgy that's a crazy a 32 foot horse is a crazy move six hundred fifty thousand dollars made of fiberglass it's just a big ass boat sitting upright the that is that is a lot but the 130 million for the mural project that's for insane. all the art in denver airport oh okay all right still it, that makes sense it's the size of it's bigger than manhattan yeah but that's I had I'd have to see for myself cuz that sounds insane to me. It doesn't make sense and it I must think, include the air it must include like all the runways and all this other stuff. Yeah. Like it, it's not like the airport itself can't be that big. The airport is very big and then the other the the other weird thing and this goes into all the human trafficking and stuff like that is at the Denver airport the barbed wire on top of the fences is pointed the wrong way. So it's not keeping people out it's keeping people in. What? So, like, you know, in a jail, you try to like climb out and. Oh, like, the, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. So, it so just, it's like the three. It's it's just. It's aimed, going inwards it's instead of in. outwards, like like a prison. Yes. It's got prison barbed wire. Yes. Wow, dude, that's weird. That's what, there's just shit that you look at and you're just like, this doesn't sit right with me. I wouldn't want you, Columbo, in my ass, dude. I'm not Columbo, <laughs> dude. I'm just chilling. I wouldn't want you on my on my trail. I'd rather talk to Stephen Kelly about the fucking fourth dimension and shit. Like, I don't fucking like this shit. Because I started watching it and you look at it like there's like there's no need for fucking tunnels except if you're going through a mountain in Lee in the Lehigh Valley. That makes sense. Like, oh, we can't do this. We're gonna have to fucking bore a tunnel through this. Yeah, I'm, like, I looked at that Ravens Rock thing. I'm gonna look at the. I'm gonna see if I can check out the one that's here. There's definitely allegedly that we yeah. have a no. We have an underground military base here. Really? Yeah. Where is it? I gotta look it up. I think it was Luzerne County. I gotta look it back. Luzerne. I gotta look it back up. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, that'll do it for now. But. Whatever the fuck's going on there, look into it. Try to find, send me fucking shit on it because I can't find any other shit. All four hundred four not found. What for the for the DIA? DIA the weird all shit, that, all the, the weird stuff, or someone just hit me with the website where I can enjoy the comfortableness of my old conspiracies that I used to be able to look at and just kind of turn like just turn the brain off and listen to some cool shit. So I'm not like I'm not trying. You're to, done. You're tapping out. I'm not tapping out. I'm just, I don't. I'm tapping out on like stuff that's relevant. Not stuff that's relevant because the only thing that's relevant right now is stupid ass red wave, blue wave stuff and white hats, black hats. And you're not with that. I mean, Stephen Kelly told me there is no good or bad. <laughs> the people who haunt me in fucking sleep paralysis are just fucking things. Yeah, I gotta, I'm looking this up right now. Just taking forever. Five, I mean, dude. Westmoreland County. Westmoreland, really? That's actually pretty close. Yep. Something to hit up, but other than that, I'm fucking starving, dude. Oh yeah, sorry, man. No, you're good. I thought I was like, I thought I'd like wouldn't be. That I thought hungry. you just had way more shit. Nah, that's yeah. literally all I got in Denver right. Airport. Wild deep dive, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oof.